Ask the participant to remove the shoes and to unclose the upper body. For the assessment, it is important to ensure unhindered access to the entire spinal column from the 7th cervical vertebra to the 3rd sacral vertebra. The examiner keeps his right forefinger on the 7th cervical vertebra at the so-called C7 and his ring finger on C6. To make sure that the position of C7 is correctly palpated, the examiner should ask the participant to extend the head. If C7 is correctly determined, then C7 won't, but C6 will disappear during maximal extension of the head. Use a marker to mark the center of the spinous process of C7. In some people, the course of the spinous processes along the center of the spine is not easy visible over its whole length. In such cases, at least some of the spinous processes should be palpated and marked regionally. Use a marker to mark the center of the spinous process of the third sacral vertebra. This so-called S3 can be palpated, but that can be very difficult. That's why to stop the recording 2 cm below the connective line between the PSAS or at the beginning of the anal crest.